Boom. Anything at all dealing with healthcare, the system we have is so jacked up. You're absolutely right. But instead of doing anything to examine the illness, we end up treating the symptoms. Yeah, okay, that's that's a fair assessment. Um, that's something I you always got to be careful by, at least for me, is um, whenever people crap on American healthcare from the left, uh, we have to be honest in that America's healthcare system is very corrupt, largely as a result of uh, government involvement and intervention in the uh in the market and as stewart says i got the prettiest bowser super mario brothers 3 bowser is stewart's favorite bowser part of the reason our healthcare system is so expensive is lack of competition you're absolutely right especially in the insurance market especially also in the pharmaceutical market I've discussed this before but uh, a big reason why drug costs have soared over the last few decades is because of uh, terrible patent policy by the FDA that is uh, created uh, unnecessary monopolies and this is a, a tough position because I do think uh, we do need uh, intellectual property protected. But um, the FDA started uh, giving out patents to uh, drugs and treatments that had been around for hundreds of years. One of them notably was the treatment to gout, which had been unregulated for, for centuries in America. And then uh, the FDA decided to crack down on unregulated drugs and a pharmaceutical industry decided to uh, test for this treatment for gout. I forget what the chemical was. And they proved it was effective. So the uh, FDA gave them a patent. And uh, as a result, the cost for um, gout medication has went off by, I think, like over a thousand percent. Oh, I didn't know there was a timeline. And there are, there are multiple cases of this. But yeah, the insurance market. This actually all started back in uh, back around World War II. I actually found a, a good source for this, finally. But it was a combination of labor price controls and uh, government uh, and tax write-offs that corrupted the health insurance market in america so there were uh, during world war ii there were price controls on labor i think uh you weren't allowed to uh increase pay for a certain amount Th there was a price ceiling on labor during world war ii and as a result companies uh were not allowed to be competitive by uh for labor by increasing wages but health insurance benefits like health insurance were exempt from this so businesses started offering health insurance benefits as a way to compete for labor because you could not uh directly increase wages and then additionally i think in 1954 the irs decided to um exclude health uh, benefits like health insurance uh from taxable income which all sounds good, you know, especially uh, capitalist and libertarian minded people. They think, well, that's good because, uh, you know, you're getting less of your money stolen. You're keeping more of your money. That's less uh, the government's taking, which sounds good on paper. But this corrupts even write offs and deductions and uh, tax incentives and loopholes. They corrupt the industry because what happens is, is. Um, First off, companies start offering health insurance benefits because, uh, hey, this uh, this is going to save us money. This is going to save our employees money. Win for win win for everyone. Correct. Meanwhile, the health insurance markets, the health insurance companies say, well, why go door to door offering people uh, plans that they like and being competitive that way when we can uh, just go to uh, big corporations and, uh, you know, get get like a thousand policies like that. Additionally, uh, the people who are getting these health insurance policies, 
they have l less to no incentive, less of an incentive to no incentive to even shop for health insurance because they're already getting it from their employer. So why would you shop for health insurance on the uh, market if uh, if you're already getting it from your employer because uh, because of government incentives like tax breaks? Oh yeah, I need to get a bunch of coins. Oh, I hate these levels. I just want to rant. So insurance companies have less of an incentive to be productive and customers have less of an incentive to shop for insurance because they're getting it from their employer. Again, because of government benefits. And of course, this, uh, this ended up uh, causing a mess where people were losing their health insurance if they lost their job. If you lost your job or wanted to switch jobs or uh, wanted to retire, you might lose your health insurance benefits. And especially if you have a pre-existing condition, finding a new policy on the uh, so-called free market might be pretty expensive and hard to come by. And so a lot of people who were losing their jobs or retiring or moving jobs, they would just lose their health insurance, which created a... Uh, a scenario which justified Medicare and Medicaid where uh, the government was subsidizing uh, health insurance and health care for uh, the retired and the poor. Go figure. And also as a result, this created other externalities, uh, people getting health insurance benefits from their, from their companies and um, the health insurance... Um, Policies being overly generous to where people were not paying out of pocket for any costs. And uh, that created a lot of... Uh, that corrupted the market in a lot of ways because uh, people didn't know what they were paying for. No one knew the price of anything. And as we all know, what happens in, in a situation like this is uh, hospitals and care providers overcharge because they expect the insurance companies to uh, bargain down. And so, especially if you don't have health insurance, you go to a, a doctor, you get care, they they bill, they overbill you, expecting to get negotiated. Meanwhile, you don't have insurance, so you have to pay this uh, huge out-of-pocket cost. And this doesn't mention, you know, like a, the FDA, Medicare, Medicaid, Obamacare, and all the other regulations. This uh, notion that we have a free market in medicine is just false. <laughs>